guys welcome back to this week's vlog i'm back here behind happy's stall getting ready to make his feed for the week i've already turned him out and i put his hay that was left over for dinner in his hay net i've made his street ball i'm just gonna make up his bags for the week and then i'll go grab him and we'll start to tack up this week i don't really know what we're gonna work on it's been really stressful at work the past two weeks so since my last vlog we haven't really done much more than work on transitions and circles and really boring stuff so I'm hoping that today I can do a little bit more exciting things hopefully there's some poles I can set up but I also don't really I don't know I'm also still very tired so this could be just a very basic run on the mill riding vlog or we could work on something fun we'll see how I feel once I get all of this done but yeah uh, I guess watch me make the feed now Okay, so the all-purpose arena has been being resurfaced for like the last two weeks, so I haven't been able to ride in there. And I'm really excited because it's been open like two days ago. They resurfaced it, and I'm gonna go set up something in there right now because I need to do something other than transitions and circles, so here we go. Once again, in my doubts, have I set this up correctly? Trot to a small fence? Who knows? We'll find out once we grab Mr. here. Okay, I don't know how long I've had these, probably like six months, but these smart pet boots have seen better days. Oh my god. This button finally fell off. And I got a hole in. Oh lord. I think I need better boots for sure. <laughs> but these were cheap and easy and they broke in in like two rides, so uh, I might get them again even though they're crapping out after like nine months. But anyways, let's go get happy feeling like going for a ride. Oh buddy. I think his sinuses are bothering him. His eyes are so buffy. He'll be okay, bud. Are you sleeping? Are you falling asleep? I just did the little finger taps all over his forehead and around his eyes and stuff. And you can see his nose is draining. So I wonder if that relieves some sinus pressure. I'll have to include a link in the description of the technique. I saw it on Practical Horsemen where you can kind of like help drain their sinuses and relieve some intracranial pressure. It's already tacked up. I feel bad. I feel like you just need a nap.
All right, guys, welcome back to VoiceOver the Ride. I am in my dedicated space for this. Finally have everything set up with my computer and my desk and everything, and I'm so, so happy to not be in a very um, slapped together situation with my MacBook and other things that I was doing while I was in temporary housing. Anyways, so as you saw, Happy was pretty tired starting this ride, so I felt like since we had the space in this arena, I would just ask him to go and to pick up a faster canner and to just kind of hand gallop around and try to, to wake up a little bit because both of us, as you saw the beginning of the video and now, we're pretty tired and not really wanting to get going. So I just basically did this. I was tired. My calves were actually screaming <laughs> when I was doing this cantering and posting, but it so helped both of us to get in a better mental place to start doing the exercise that I set up, which I actually set up correctly. So. I am quite pleased with myself that I did it correctly. But he was really good. He warmed up pretty well and um, was pretty happy to be riding once he felt good. And honestly, so I mentioned that his sinuses were kind of blocked feeling. He gets that a lot when there's flies or like a lot of dust and it's been very dry and the flies have been getting worse. And after we did this, he kind of let out a bunch of sneezes and like blew out a bunch of stuff from his nose, which was gross. but. I think it actually like helped him to open up his airways a little bit after doing the little finger tap thing, which I have shared down in the description below, which you guys should definitely try on your horses and let me know how it goes. A lot of times when I do that on Happy, he gives me a yawn and a bunch of lick and chews and everything. So this is us still warming up. Um, I think I warmed up for about 10, 15 minutes, maybe even 20 minutes on this day, but mainly just doing this, like cantering and him bucking and feeling good and feeling happy to be moving. And then we started working on the exercise, which I will um, probably come back in in a little bit and talk about the exercise. But really, um, this whole warm up was just to get Happy and I going and feeling a little bit more excited about riding.
So that exercise actually went a lot better than I thought. I actually set the trap poles correctly, the striding correctly, and I was able to work on what I wanted to, which was getting him to do the right leads that I asked for after the fence. So we worked on getting the left lead and then we worked on getting the right lead and I think he did really, really well. And this was the part of the ride where I don't know if he was getting tired, frustrated, over it, or just legitimately something spooked him over there, but he started to get um, his little bit of brain fry that he likes to get in this corner. So I thought to myself, well, if you want to canter, then we're going to canter this very, very small circle, in my opinion, for Happy, and then wait for him to settle, and then we will trot to the exercise. So that's what we did, and we ended up having to do it both ways, just because he was being a little bit of a, a brat, I feel like, in the corner. Um, I know that the bobcats live over there. I've seen them multiple times, so it's very, very possible that the bobcats are moving around over there and just startled him. But anyways, he needs to learn to be able to work through those kinds of situations because no matter where we are, he needs to be able to learn to trust and focus on me and not just, you know, get harebrained like he likes to do at times. But I'm really pleased with the canter that he did in these circles. I was actually quite shocked that he was able to do them and was able to maintain his canter and stay under himself and not start pacing. So I felt like it was, even though I was annoyed, it was a good exercise for him to just canter those corners and then trot to the exercise here with the fence and the poles. So he did really well. Um, here you see he's starting to get tired and not picking up the canter lead afterwards, but I think up to this point everything was great and he was looking really, really good. So we ended up doing this exercise I think once or twice more and just making sure we can canter off after it and then we cooled out. So this was the ride and it was a good exercise for us to practice and it's something that I'll keep practicing. I do like working on these like going over a pole or a fence and asking him for a specific lead because I feel like he's very inflexible to changing leads and changing um, bend after a pole or even sometimes on a circle if we're going a certain direction he thinks we can only go that direction after that and it's something that I've been working on with him to be a little bit more flexible with bending and moving through his body in different directions no matter what we've been doing the prior stride so that was our ride and he was super super good and I'm super proud of him and I just love riding him he's so fun even though he is a bit of a challenge at times We're cooling out. That was a pretty good ride. Got to work on what I wanted to work on. Oh, we're not gonna, I thought we were done in here. We just went um, back into the trail area. You wanna go back? And I let him decide and he decided he didn't wanna go down the trail, but now he feel like he was having second thoughts. All right, cooling out. He was a very good boy. I felt like I needed to really, um, warm him up quickly today because as we saw in the video he was pretty tired looking and like not really keen to ride so I warmed him up <laughs> big itch so um, I got him out quickly and just got him moving and decided that we needed to do that for us today because we've been really dead and tired from just everything but then once we got moving, he was riding really well and we did our exercise and I really wanted to focus on getting him to pick the right lead, or at least lead that I wanted, over the fence because that's our biggest issue and to keep cantering. And pretty much he cantered after every fence, which was great. There was no like cross firing or trotting. And then he got almost every lead I asked for. So we're just gonna keep working on that because that's something that we really need to spend time doing but he was so good and I'm so happy with him. And we just did a quick 20, 25 minute ride so that um, we didn't do too much technical over fences and really wear him out mentally, but enough I feel like that we accomplished our goal. So we're just gonna cool out now and uh, and yeah, great ride. And I want everyone to be proud of me for taking that video because there's so many people out at the barn, so much stranger danger, and yet I'm here filming content looking like a ding dong for everybody. So I hope that everyone who watches this 
is proud of me for <laughs> for doing that. Oh, I know, they were painting fences and that's very scary. This little bunny here. You don't need to smell every poop. He says it's very, but it's very reasonable that he should be able to smell every poop. I know, let's go right. Got an itch again. Got a lot of itches. Let's go right. Okay guys, I just finished up with my ride and got happy all settled and clean and we did his carrot stretches as you saw in the majestic sunset in the background. And I'm here in the car getting ready to head home. I hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog. It was uh, better than I thought it was going to be just because I wasn't really sure what level of energy Happy would have and what level of energy I would have. But I feel like we did the exercise quite well. I've been trying to do a lot of exercises with him with the poles where we focus on getting our leads afterwards. As you know, and I stated before, Happy um, used to and still kind of does have an issue with either maintaining a canner after the fence and if he gets a canner, he's cross firing or he doesn't pick up the right lead that I would like him to pick up. So I've been trying to use my time until I start taking lessons again fall winter time this year to work over exercises that help us with that. And so that's why I set up that exercise today with the trot poles um, to a small fence just so that we could start working on asking for leads over fences and through exercises. So I think after we got him all, we both got all um, warmed up and ready to go. He was really, really good. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the ride. I hope you enjoyed the whole vlog and the indecisiveness of my of myself. I'm really glad you guys tuned in this week and I'm really looking forward to filming something for you next week. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please have a great week and we'll see you next week. Bye.